Today we're talking on cover crops and the why, the what, and the how. So basically what we want to cover is why do you want to grow them? Is it the soil erosion? Do you want to have weed suppression, nutrient sequestering, or a combination or a culmination of all these uh, together? So I'll talk about the, what, the uh, what to grow. So really a great place to start is the, uh, the Midwestern Cover Crop Council. They have a website and on that there's a great tool to essentially select what you want out of your cover crop. So like Aaron said, you could have nutrient sequential, you could have uh, uh, working on compaction, you could have soil structure. So you click off whatever goals you want and actually you prioritize them to which one you want first, second, third. Um, <clears throat> and then also your planning window. It'll run that through and it'll tell you which cover crop is rated the best. And then that's a really excellent tool so then you can actually really uh, filter down to what you want to grow that cover crop for. On my own farm, I always like to look at the C to N ratio, uh, depending on what I'm looking to get from it. I always kind of pick a goal of about 20 to 1. Uh, this way you'll mineralize the nitrogen. Otherwise, if it's above this, 30, 40, 50 and above, you'll actually start to pull nitrogen from your system to break down that cover. And the other thing is, is when you're looking at the whole cover crop system, is how are you going to deploy that? The easiest way, if you're first time, if you're really looking into cover crop, there's been a lot of buzz. This is the year of soil health. so. It's really important to start thinking about cover cropping. So the easiest place to do it first is after wheat. You're gonna get a good stand. You really have a, a big variety of, uh, of different cover crops to plant. The other thing I'd really recommend is to for sure go two species. So uh, if you're using a cereal rye, maybe add in a pea. So you have a legume and a, and a grass. So when you, when you add those two different, uh, two, two different uh, crop types, you actually can produce a higher bi biomass because there's a lot of synergistic, synergistic effects that happen there. Um, the other thing is, is you might want to interseed. There's some people interseeding annual rye into corn. That's a little bit more of a logistical factor, maybe not something you want to jump into right away, but I've done it on my farm and it did work uh, quite well and I will be trying it again this year, but it is something to think about. But like I said, starting easy, take that one field, maybe after wheat, and, uh, and play around with the cover crop, try to put one in, and, uh, and see how it goes.